Thank you so much for staying tuned to this channel. Welcome to your town edition of International Forum. <coughs> I am Wilson on Marshall. Today is all about might. It's all about showing to the world that you can defend your territorial integrity without relying on other nations to come help you out. Now, that seems to be the situation right now, South Korea. No, if we are not grabbing testing series of weapons with nuclear capability. They've been talking about it, saying they also want to have their own nuclear might. Yes, they are saying, knowing fully that sometimes, if push comes to shove, you have to stand for yourself. And they also mm -hmm. allege that a situation may just arise whereby America may not be able to protect them. You will just to protect them against North Korea. If North Korea threatens, with nuclear weapon, that the only antidote is for them to have theirs. They spoke about this some years ago, to the extent that the U.S. chose to place a station that were able to safeguard South Korea. But from the way the world is going, from the way Putin is like saying, if you cross this line, I will be forced to push the button. They're beginning to know the effectiveness and the essence of having that weapon that can distinguish you from any other nation. The power of a nuclear weapon. What does it really, really stand for the world? With me here in the studio to talk about this, I have a, a legal practitioner, political first commentator, Jimmy to welcome Barista Heron Wazo. Welcome to International Forum. Appreciate your coming. Wilton, good afternoon. Viewers at home, once more, I celebrate you all. And of course, Barrister A.B. Thomas, human rights activist, political analyst, political affairs commentator, a legal practitioner. Barrister, welcome to International Forum. It's been like ages. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome uh -huh. to everybody at home. I'm grateful. All right. And of course, I have Honorable Frank Amega, a lecturer at Unibem. We're talking about national and international politics. He is well Granada, I wonder what he's doing in the medical field. Anyway, Honorable, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. your coming. I uh, uh, appreciate it. All right. I'm going to start off with you, Barrister Henry Wazo. The quest for South Korea to have a nuclear weapon. What do you have to say about this? Well, <clears throat> it has been in the national security uh, burner for the past 10 years. But in the past decade, to be precisely, it is not an issue that has come up for the first time. It has been there, but the truth still remains that the people of South Korea have not been able to ascertain what actually they want and how they want it. Whether they are going to rely on domestic uh, nuclear weapon or they are going to rely on reintroducing the uh, U.S. Uh, uh, weapon uh, in the Korean Peninsula, as it were. But a lot of persons have raised issues, including the politicians who have equally looked at it from their political issues they have raised during their issue of talking about the platform of policies as well as their platform. The people equally have also raised the issue. But the issue there is what actually do they want? Do they want the, the most, the, 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 most uh, the domestic weapon? of the nuclear weapon, or they want that of the U.S. to be, have part in their place. That is an issue they have not been able to establish. And again, they are also looking at the consequences of what will be the aftermath effect. They are looking at it from the angle, what will be the pressures that will be coming from China, what, again, will be the, in terms of the economic uh, sanctions that will come up by the time they introduce it in the in their place, and again, they will probably look at it, what will be the role of uh, the people from the, North, uh, from the North Korea, whether they are going to be putting pressure. But the issue still remains the same, that if at the end of the day, they decide on what to do and how to go about it, it will go a long way in putting a lot of pressure on their neighbors, especially in the region, especially North Korea, to be precise, who for some time now has been you know, trying to display their nuclear powers in the region, as it were. All right. But I say, before once you heard him, he gave an introduction to this particular discourse. He says it's all about North Korea. Take it up from there. Uh, yes. <clears throat> the quest by South Korea to have 
nuclear weapon is greatly influenced by the posture or posturing of North Korea that has been belligerent over the years. Just like China is making Taiwan very uncomfortable. So if North Korea rather than embarking on developmental programs, human development, instead they are creating two million man military. And at the same time, spending money they could have used in developing their country into intercontinental ballistic missiles and nuclear weapons that can easily destroy South Korea. It will be foolish of South Korea to continue to rely on the presence of American troops. The question is, for how long will there be a pharaoh who may not know, know um, uh, a pharaoh, will there be Moses who may not know a, a pharaoh? A president may come in America and say, look, what are we doing in the world, policing the world? We should come back home. Then, South Korea is exposed. So, it is in the interest of South Korea, the authoritarian sovereignty, since North Korea has made it practically impossible for the unification of the two Koreas, that's the unification of North Korea and South, since they made it impossible. Every time you find North Korea, millions are dying of famine. South Korea will have to rescue them, send them food. They will send the food, but keep on threatening South Korea. It's like a brother who keeps threatening me. Then I keep giving him money, and he keeps threatening me. The best thing to do is to find out why should I continue to help this brother when he is a, he's an enemy to me. So the only way that South Korea can be safe is to embark on developing their own nuclear capabilities. And America, I can tell you, like my left friend was saying, there will be sanctions here and there. America will destabilize such sanctions. Just like Russia is doing in the Security Council of United Nations, when it comes to uh, any other country that supports Russia, like Iraq, America will not make any sanctions work against South Korea. All right. I'll come back to you, Barry, sir. Well, Honorable, you heard them. Yes. They said, Duke, it's high time South Korea created their own nuclear capability. Well, I say enhance the nuclear capability because of the ever-present threat by the North Korea. I mean, take it up from there. Do you share the views and opinions? Yes. There is no longer a team brought to the table for debate anymore. Whether... Uh, South Korea should have nuclear weapon or not. About two thirds of the population have long agreed. And it was a decision that delayed, but as we we'll have it, better late than never. Because how long would they be living on defensive? And the best way for South Korea to remain alive as a nation is to have their own uh, nuclear weapons. Good thing that the U.S. Uh, started helping them all these years. But there, there's, as they say, there, there's, uh, <coughs> there's love in sharing, but there's peace in having your own. And North Korea has just realized, I mean, South Korea has just realized that this is the right time for them to have their own. And there's no debate anymore about it. Because when you, uh, someone keeps threatening you over and over again, you begin to look inward to look for a way to kind of fight back. I could remember so many years ago in the secondary school in, in, in Benin City, uh, a, a boy was always threatened by a bigger boy in the classroom. So on that fateful day, the smaller boy, same class, now decided that today will mark the turning point in this harassment in the class. What did he do? 
he called two of his friends. That this big boy in our class, when he just ring, the, the ones the bell rings, he will just go there and slap him severally. That his two friends will just quickly hold him and beg him not to kill him. <laughs> so that, I wish, wish I would work. it will work if you do what I have just said. So the school closed. He went to the big boy, slapped him severally. Then the next thing, the friends heard him. He pitched him and said, You want to kill him? You want to kill him? So people got that. Meanwhile, uh, fingerprints on the face of the big boy. So after that day, the next day they came to school, the news went around that that small boy is very small boy, it's very powerful. So that's the kind of posture that South Korea needs to take now. It's not every time you're on the defensive, you also attack. It's not every time, okay, whenever North Korea will attack us or China will join them to attack us, let's go and hide somewhere. Let's also attack them. So they are not just going to rely on the weaponry of, of US. They should have that. It's, it's high time they had theirs. Hmm. And now is the time. Now is the time. Yes, if they don't do it now, it might be never. So okay. that the threats posed by North Korea over and over again, there should be a turning point such that that threat should lead to peaceful coexistence. Hmm. The threat should lead to peaceful coexistence. But, but, but right now, uh, when they first came up with this idea some years ago, America jettisoned that they were like, no, there's no need for that. Our parents have ever felt in the Korea Peninsula for your own protection due to the rules and regulations governing nuclear weapon armament. Don't you think this may destabilize that rule if America chooses to say yes? Go ahead with it, Barrister. But, but you, see, you equally see it from another angle. <clears throat> America has remained there. But they cannot continue to be there. Just as my brother here rightly said, a president might come to America one day and wake up and say, everybody has to return home. Then no, what now happens? The, uh, the South Koreans are looking at it from the angle. The people, majority of the people have long agreed, over a decade ago, they have long agreed. Even the, uh, the political class have raised the issue during their campaign in 2022 trying to, you know, in uh, the, the Conservative Party, to be precise, the Conservative Party in 2022 brought it up about the issue in their policy platform. But the truth still remains that they need to develop their domestic weapons. And that will go a long way in checking the actions of the North Koreans. And if they decide to do that as they are planning to do, it will not in any way affect their relationship with America. To me personally, it will not in any way affect it. Because America itself will assist in ensuring that they are able to protect themselves. They will also assist in ensuring they are able to build it. Most times that you see America and other uh, superpowers trying to prevent the smaller nations from taking action is that they want to continuously remain at that point dictating for them what to do and how to go about it. You, con you cannot continue to give me fish. You should be able to allow me to fish for myself. America cannot continuously remain in the uh, Korean Peninsula. One day, they will definitely leave the Korean Peninsula. And the Koreans, on their own, they, for the past decade, they have been talking about it. The earlier they take the decision and concentrate in development, it will equally enhance not only in terms of security, it will also go a long way in assisting them in building other technological uh, advancement which they want to go into. Because by the time they go into the nuclear, domestic uh, nuclear weapon program, they will equally fashion out other things they want to do to make their nation a better nation as it were. So to me, America will always play their role in assisting. But if it goes your because even at this stage now, the South Koreans are even, they, ha they still have doubt. What happens if America decides to lead to more? What happens as we are making this war, America will not want to support us? They also have that doubt. Mm -hmm. That is part of the, in, uh, the, uh, you know, the findings that actually well, you know, they're trying <coughs> to make some findings. They also find that they only have that doubt. What happens if this people are not going to solve? But to me, it is better for them to go ahead and do the needful because the world itself is growing. And everybody is trying its way to ensure that you have peace within your region. Because North Korea, at each point in time, will always want to do things that are funny. 
But the other superpowers will want to challenge their actions. Challenging their actions is just by saying, oh, don't do this. But the next morning, they have done it. Okay. What now happens? What now happens? happens? But it's good that in the world, some countries have been on their uh, place under severe sanction because of their zeal or even the idea of creating or making themselves to be a, a nuclear uh, a power. For instance, Iran. If you look at North Korea also, despite the sanction, they've been able to move ahead to make sure that they have what they really wanted in terms of nuclear capabilities. Now, do you think that if U.S. should allow South Korea that within their image of being the world police and Iran may just say, hey, U.S., you guys are really partial about who to really possess nuclear capability globally. Uh, let me tell you straight away. Iran's case was not a sole decision of the United States to prevent Iran from having nuclear weapons. There were very many interests. The Europeans were involved. The anti-Islamic nations were involved. Iran did not get up, wake up one morning and say, we want to have a weapon. They discovered that Israel has already gotten nuclear weapon. And nobody sanctioned Israel. Israel has never come out one day to say, we own nuclear weapon. But they were assisted to declare nuclear weapon, to, 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 to have nuclear weapon. <coughs> so Iran now found themselves that, look, Saudi Arabia cannot do it. Saudi Arabia was, at that time, an appendage of America. Now, Saudi Arabia is now teaching towards China, the latest superpower in the world. Now, if you look at the position of South Korea, they cannot even now take any dictation for America. Why? In the past 10 years, military experts in both UK and the US have discovered that in 2014, when China wanted to invade Taiwan, China had to calculate the cost from American defensive weapons that were in Taiwan. We are talking of the Pacific nations, of which South Korea is a major part. America would have been able to defend South Korea, I mean Taiwan, from China. Within three days, they would have been able to inflict heavy damage on the Chinese, that the Chinese would have withdrawn all their weapons back to China. But as of 2022, the reverse is the case. China has moved so fast that they have doubled their military capability by 250%, while America is still just juggling. So South Korea has seen this, that the military capability of America in the name of democracy, because by the time America goes to any war, and you, they hear, the Americans hear, that 50 of their troops have been killed, there will be uproar. It will have political consequences internally in America. So America went uh, uh, before uh, Joe Biden. Trump, Trump came in. Yes. Trump was drumming America for Americans. America first. And with America first being Trump by Donald Trump, it is enough signal to other nations that depends on America that it is time to begin to move. Now you look at it this way. America governizes the whole world to play sanctions on Russia. The reason was they were too sure that sanctions in six months will keep on Russia economically. So that the war in Ukraine will go to an end. What happened? Russia turned 
but he left to China. Now, South Korea, they are looking at it this way. To the north, we have a hostile enemy in North Korea. To our southeast and south and to the north, we have the gigantic China, China. hostile to us. Americans are already saying America for Americans, America first. We will be swallowed. Each time there is an American dignitary visiting Taiwan, the kind of weapons that China rolls out to show their might, America hasn't got that type in the Pacific. So, if you look at it, Iran we talked about just now is not fighting for themselves alone. With all the sanctions the world place on Iran, they have not been able to produce the drones that are giving a nickname, Kamikaze drones. Kamikaze drones, okay. Now, if you look at all the sanctions, why should South Africa, uh, South Africa, South Korea, Korea, Korea <laughs> be afraid of sanctions? Why? All right. I will come back to you, Barry Sadi, <laughs> because, because right now everybody's picking from the uh, angle of might. Increase your military capability. Maybe you will just give you that respect. But don't forget that whenever South Korea start carrying out military drills, North Korea gets ag aggravated. Hence, they start displaying their weapons, warning them to stop. It has happened not once, not twice. Now, what if there is a go ahead for South Korea to start engaging in building their nuclear capability? Don't you think that will provoke North Korea? to attack South Korea for them to attain that particular status of a country with nuclear capabilities? Yes, uh, even if it becomes so, the North Korea as, as, as a nation, I mean the South Korea as a nation, will not be deterred in carrying out the development of nuclear weapons. Because the thing they have long envisaged that just as uh, Dadie uh, posited it, China is there, North Korea is there, there will be an event that will still happen. So let's just start the work now, such that if the fight continues, there should be an impact we're going to make in trying to repair them. You just hold on, I want to go for a break or return. You continue with the chain of thought you have about the question uh, uh, thrown to you. Don't go over right back after this break. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us, this is the International Forum of taking a look at the quest uh, for North Korea or by South Korea, rather, to have nuclear weapon, the global implication. I have uh, seasoned analysts here to express their opinions and views on this particular discourse. Well, we took forward went on that break yes. about aggravating North Korea to attack South Korea if they're given the go ahead to start developing nuclear capabilities. Could you where you start? There's no country that's going to stop South Korea from embarking on this acquisition of nuclear weapons. There's no, there's no country in the world. Because where they found themselves in, between two major enemies, and the easiest thing for them to do is what they are about doing now. In an attempt to uh, neglect the acquisition of nuclear weapons, is to send their death warrant as a nation. So there's a way they can also repel by this intention now will, will create signals to China and North Korea that we were not those we used to think we were. We are now a better set of people. That if you come if it comes to acquisition of nuclear weapons, we can get the technology, we can get the manpower. It's not that we're going to uh, use the nuclear weapons uh, US brought to our base and we used to fight. No, we're going to create ours. So if they don't do it now, there is no better time anymore. Because if you understand uh, things about season, like in Nigeria, have a rainy season and dry season, you know very soon, any moment from now, heavy rains will start. And you just have to make provisions to ensure that your home does not get flooded, your area is intact. Now that's the weather forecast they've done in South Korea, that this is the right time for a nation to agree at the third level. It does not ask of assembly. Everybody's agreed. 
that the best way to it now is to activate the button is that we should have our own uh, domesticated nuclear weapons. So it's not like some other African nations, like Nigeria, that you bring a uh, sort of, of politics. Politics is not involved in this. It's a reality that everybody is faced with. So I want to uh, kind of praise their efforts to agree at this point, though they delayed. So if they don't, uh, South Korea, North Korea will attack them anytime from now. So if they start producing the nuclear weapons, no matter the threats that will come from North Korea or China, it won't deter them because it would have been a thing that would have still have happened. So why not get set for it? Barista, you will come on, don't worry. <laughs> why not get set for it? It's a thing that will happen. Maybe I'll go traditional now. <laughs> the, 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 the baby rabbit came to meet the mother rabbit that he dreamt that somebody they got hold of him and they, they opened him up and put him on, on, on the bonfire. The mother now said, my son, it will come to pass. Hmm. That dream must come to pass. Because human beings they haunt us. So it's a dream that will come to pass such that North Korea will attack us, China will attack us, so the best bet is to get set. And if you get set this early, uh, the, the attack will not be so massive, unlike you were not prepared. So South Korea is on the right path towards liberating themselves from the shackles of North Korea and China. Mm. Liberating themselves from the shackles of North Korea and China. The clip you just watched in cut says Sky News uh, trying to portray what South Korea has been talking about for some decades now, but now they are like more serious about it because Moon is now having this meeting. It's high time they had their own nuclear weapon. Talking about, uh, 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 just, just, just hold on. Just, just, I just wanted to add something to what you were saying. All right, you briefly, just do that briefly. You see, it appears the three of us are added on this issue of yeah. acquisition. Nuclear weapon is not. A desirable thing. If you look at Germany now, they are facing out their own nuclear power. For this. that is where we're coming to right mm -hmm. now. Nuclear I'm, disarmament. I am uh, saying. Right. I am saying yes. it is not a desirable thing. Okay. But it is a survival method mm -hmm. to deter. It's a deterrent. Mm -hmm. It's a deterrent weapon to deter your opponent who has got the same thing. From taking advantage, from taking advantage of you not having it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> like what he talked about, taking advantage of you for not having it. it is nuclear weapon now uh, a test of might to like know who, whose country is which country on the global scale when you talk about global politics? Because okay. what he's talking about minimizing the number of nuclear <coughs> weapons and South Korea is saying we want our own. You see, the truth still remains that at this point in time in the history of a nation, you must try to be like others. And that is what South Korea is trying to do. Accepting that some countries are talking about disarmament, but the issue still remains at a point in time you know that you are faced between two devils. Because South Korea is faced between two devils. China is there, North Korea is there. These persons, uh, these nations at each point in time will want to threaten you. They want to put fear. You, because you don't have, they assume you don't have that capacity which they have, which will make you to say, okay, you are threatening me, I still have the capacity to face you. But now they have decided to do their own domestic nuclear weapon as it were. It will put a check on those threats from other countries, from China, from North Korea. North Korea will not be too bold enough to say, I will, we will test our weapon on you, knowing fully well that they too have the same capacity as it were. So you, you find out that it also brings about prestige. It brings about prestige. It also brings your, uh, your nation into that uh, world uh, class as other uh, superpowers as it were, because you have been able to do that, which other nations who are classified as superpowers have done. And it also br brings about confidence in your people and confidence in those who are uh, taking charge of their nation. As, uh, because at the time North Korea were testing their women, they are present, uh, a lot of things were said about the young man. But he never deterred. He continued. Notwithstanding there's going to be sanctions, the sanctions were there. But he never deterred them from going on. 
They will say, don't test it. Before the world wakes up, you will test it. <laughs> to challenge, to see if there's going to be any. And nothing happened. Apart from the sanction. The sanction has not even affected the people. Just as uh, my learned senior here said in the issue of Russia. Today, Russia, the war is still going on. Nothing has stopped, as it were. And they are fighting the war with nuclear weapons. Yeah, they are fighting the war with nuclear weapons. You also find that the sanctions that most countries are afraid of, will, uh, it, will, it will only make you stronger. We had such an experience in the days of uh, 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 Major uh, General uh, uh, Sani Abacha. Abacha. The economy of this country was at its best. Though, uh, though we, I was a little bit younger, but from what I read, the economy of this country was at its best. Notwithstanding the sanction, the, the dollar remains. The Naira never took from the position of its worth. Nobody was talking about a bag of rice being 50 or 90,000 Naira. Nobody was talking about the issue of the economy as if the economy was stable, notwithstanding the sanction. The sanction brought out the best in the people. And that was what happened in us in, at that point in time. It's because of this sanction and sanction. That is why most nations have remained underdeveloped. That is why they continue to call you a third world country. Because you put fears on yourself. Because somebody there has said, don't do this. If you do this, we are going to put sanction on you. That is why we have remained where we are. And it is the same fear that has crippled a lot of nations, that have made nations that would have developed. So in South Korea, for the past decade, they have been planning that this is what we want to do. But for the simple fact that America is there at the Korean Peninsula, the man will know. It's not like somebody having a mega. The mega cannot be there when he things decide to. A lot of persons were kidnapped in the presence of their mega. A lot of persons were robbed in the presence of their mega is there before they, they will tie mega and rob them. So it's the same thing we are talking about. So if South Korea decided to wait that America is there in the Korean Peninsula and protect their interests, it will be a bit of time. All right. Now, with this press come by South Korea mm. requesting for permission to go ahead with nuclear development and capabilities, do you think that that also will lead to an imbalance? Because everyone wants to have that, thereby breaking that truce or the agreement on nuclear disarmament. You see, the United Nations Convention on Disarmament was lopsided in the sense that the real parties who were actually involved in the disarmament program was Soviet Union and America. China was not a conduit. <coughs> the other smaller European countries like France, the other kingdom, now, as weapons, we nuclear weapons, we are not record with. But other countries in the world are now looking at it this way. And like my little brother said just now, we are called third world. Are we going to remain third world forever? When are we going to become first world? When? They say, oh, the future of Nigeria is only belongs to the youth. <laughs> I am already 67. I have never had opportunity. <laughs> so, <laughs> for how long? <laughs> so, for how long? So, every country, look, it's because Nigeria is not too close to South Africa. South Africa would have developed nuclear weapon quietly. You don't need to advertise it. You look at India and Pakistan. They were under the same British government. <laughs> When the British government decided to grant India uh, independence and Pakistan was now part of the Eastern side, they just said, no, we want to go. As soon as India developed nuclear weapon, Pakistan did. Today they have mutual respect for each other. For each other. Yeah. India cannot say they have taken enough kun <laughs> and want to go into Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan will not say they have taken enough Amala and want to go into India. You see, there is respect, mutual respect. Anytime you hear there's a quarrel between Pakistan and Iran, and, and uh, Iran, India, yeah. and India is not beyond five gunshots at the border. Walk, walk. That is the end. Because they know that if you try anything, I have what you have. That's what you have. <laughs> okay. So, if we take it further, we now find that in Asia, China wants to dominate the whole of pacification. America wants to defend 
those countries that agreed to practice the kind of American democracy. <coughs> I'm referring to countries like Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, that performs elections and they think that is the best way to govern. Just like Nigeria do democracy, we say we are also good <laughs> in democracy. Right. So as long as those countries continue to do democracy, like Fela said, they want Chris. Okay. America will defend them. Okay. But the question remains, you cannot be the best owner of my own house than myself. All right. I'll come back to you. <coughs> you cannot be the best owner of my own house than myself. Since talking about global implication, all right, if you choose to give South Korea, like what he rightly said about Pakistan and India, as India developed their own nuclear capability, Pakistan also did the same, with your respect. Israel developed theirs, but they told Iran not to even think about it. Uh, North Korea to develop theirs. They said, no, North Korea, if you try it, we're going to lay serious sanction on you. North Korea paid deaf ears, and today, the world is beginning to expect them gradually, according to some reports. Here we have a South Korea. I'm going to ask you the same question about nuclear capability proliferation. Is this not going to cause more trouble for the world? On the contrary, because that point of threat will be kind of neutralized. You know, just like in Nigeria, for instance, the government of each day understands that if the citizens are given good roads, regular power supply, tight security, everybody will be a rich man in Nigeria in one week. Because I'm not going to meet you up for anything. I'm not going to say it's a chair anymore. So if we have a common denominator, a lot of things will be neutralized. So that thing you're using against me, I now have it. Then let's come to another chapter to see what we can talk about. Because each time you hear it, if you don't agree to do this, we'll launch an attack. So you launch an attack, I will launch an attack. So that point of neutrality is long overdue. Let every country have nuclear weapons. Then let's oh, talk seriously? about seriously. Yes. Let's talk every about country. Yes, let's have, let's have it. So let's talk about something else. Can afford it. Let's talk about something else. This point of intimidation here and there is getting so nauseating. It's part of our security. It's part of the security. If all nations should have nuclear power, what about that, that gives you a security? Yes. yes. That, that gives you kind of security. personal security. It gives you security. Because what? you are intimidating me with what you have. If you wear it, then I would have seen no need to have mine. Now you are telling me that uh, uh, because I don't know how to read alphabet, I'm not educated. So I have to go and learn how to read alphabet. Meanwhile, I can read numbers from 1 to infinity. But because you're always troubling me with alphabet, I let me go and read it. I learn how to read it. So after we have all gone back, we have known A to Z, now let's talk about something else. Because the intimidation is too much. That's the point that, that is, is conflicting right now, all over the world. Anytime a, a thing happens, China will be threatening. Anytime Russia, anytime Iran or North Korea, they don't have anything to offer the world. Apart from maybe China trying to do some level of trade, uh, some piece of technology. Otherwise, they have got, they say North Korea has nothing to offer other than to destroy. Anything that happens, uh, US or UN will say, don't do this. You will be sanctioned along these lines. The next day, they will do it. Because they believe that what they have can help them to defend any, against themselves if any attack comes from outside. So they're always uh, battle ready. Shall we continue battling ourselves over mundane things here and there? So let South Korea also have it. All right. If Nigeria can have it, why not? Let us also have it. Are you serious? Why not? But Let's have it. Are you not aware? <laughs> Let's have it. Are you, are you not aware that Nigeria started an agency? Yeah, yes, sir. For nuclear, for nuclear yes, about 30 years, years, years ago. About 30 years ago. They're talking about the nuclear power to harness nuclear power, yeah. not the weapon right now. No, it's, it's not the weapon. 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 It's about nuclear power. Probably for electricity and for high tech. And for the baseline for nuclear power. 
Yeah, well, but for 30 okay. years, it has not worked. Not yes. <laughs> all right. As usual. Okay, okay. Well, hold on now. <laughs> if all countries, like mm. what all of you agree to, should have these nuclear capabilities, who will not be the one? to put checks and balance to the way a country chooses to use theirs. Don't forget that one Iranian top leader way, way back vowed to wipe Israel off the map of the world. And the only weapon capable of doing that is chemical weapon. Chemical weapon called nuclear, nuclear capability. Nuclear, nuclear capability. So if all these ones have it, don't think it to be an era of chaos. No, but you only find out that as you, uh, you prepare the nuclear weapons, people are also at the same time preparing what to check it by the time you decide to use it. Because it will go a long way in increasing the development technologically. It will act as a check on everybody. Everybody will be at his or her tools. All nations will want to respect one another. It will no longer be business as usual. This idea, because you see, one of the challenges we have of these sanctions, and sanctions that was what has kept most part of the world as third world countries. Ordinarily, in 2023, Nigeria is not supposed to be a third world country. If let's be sincere with ourselves. But because of fear of doing certain things has kept us where we are. In South Korea, for the past 10 years, they have been planning this. It has remained an issue. They have debated. The people massively have agreed. Let us do it. Let us do the domestic uh, nuclear weapon, you know. Though some percentage say, oh, let us reintroduce that of uh, the U.S. But U.S. cannot continue to be your police every day. China is harassing you. North Korea is harassing you. And you have the, the wherewithal to make yourself what you will be like they. What stops you from going ahead to do it? So, to me, it will go a long way acting as a check on those threats from other countries who feel that you don't have that capacity. They now know you have the capacity. When they are now talking, everybody will be talking at the same level. That fear will no longer be there because you have what I have. I have what you got. At the same time, countries will equally want to be building that which they will use, you know, to ensure that if tomorrow the world decides to go. Because all this assists in development, technologically. All right. That all is right. the truth. All right. We cannot remain where we are. All right. Now, now they, they are not saying that mm. if South Korea is given the permission, mm. that may just lead to destabilization of that region and to the larger scale, it may just trigger the third world war. What do they say about this hypothesis? It will not. <laughs> you see, one thing is this. When you have greedy leaders as your leaders, they will never like to leave the position. In Nigeria, if you create top ten, they will stay in power. They won't, they won't go. Yes. I am talking of the Security Council United Nations. If there is prevention of nuclear weapons, there will be no need for the Security Council. We will have only the General Assembly, where we will all go there equally. Mm -hmm. With one vote, we are all equal. <laughs> there will one, one vote. Yes, <laughs> one vote. All of us will go there. We will go there, and when you talk, I say, no, no, you can't say that. I vote my own. You vote your own. But now, we have five permanent world powers <laughs> who have the veto powers. And the reason why this Countries were made to have veto powers after the Second World War in 1945. Was for them to eradicate the scourge of war among nations in the world. And these five nations now arrogated to themselves the power to have nuclear weapons to the exclusion of any other country. We can see the grid. France, uh, Germany is there. Uh, sorry, Germany is not there. UK, Russia, China, America, they have nuclear weapons. At the end of the day, they are telling Nigeria, we will not visit you unless you will pass the law that allows men to marry men. 
<laughs> we say no, that is not our culture. <laughs> culture. Right. Okay, that case, we won't visit you. <laughs> and and the Aurora Vista just is there. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you, thank you. You're going to have the last line on this discussion because our time is up. What yeah. advice do you have for uh, the political class? It was almost everyone in South Korea saying this is what we want. So the, the attacks that we are trying to prevent, which has been uh, kind of uh, drawn up, one day to come that North, North Korea or China will attack South Korea. That in the sacrosanct. So the earlier they developed their own, the better. And that's what they are doing. So that fight will still have come up. So now that they have realized that U.S. will not be with them forever, a time has also come that they have become adults as nations, or there are some other nations apart from uh, North, uh, South, uh, South Korea, that we are now grown up. So this is the time to take our destinies in our hands. That's exactly what they are doing now. That doesn't matter approval or no approval. Several nations that have had uh, uh, nuclear weapons were not uh, fully approved. Mm. So they are not waiting for any person's approval anymore. Life matters most. Life matters most. And nuclear weapon is the way forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Many, many will not agree to this. Yes. Though, anyway, we, we, we are still observing the situation. Let's see if eventually they will start with the nuclear preparation uh, uh, just to make uh, um, South Korea to have this say in the Korean Peninsula. All the time will definitely tell. Gentlemen, I know you have so much to say, but our time is up. I appreciate a wonderful analysis. Thank you so, so much for your opinions and views. Let's see how the global community we will take this. Do you think they're going to approve South Korea having their own nuclear capability? Only time, definitely, will tell. Bye for now.